All right, welcome to this. This is a talking introduction. I am gonna give you a little bit of a hint of what it is you should be looking at when you play this piece. You have to recall the subtle stylishness of the majas, the toreros, and the sons españoles, the Spanish songs. Moreover, you need to have, and this is Rodrigo's words, memories of early times, of the lovely gardens of Aranjuez with their fountains, their trees, and their birds. Rodrigo had a very particular time and place in mind to this piece. The Palace of the Aranjuez during the reign of the Bourbons at the period between the end of the 18th century and the beginning of the 19th century. In particular, he gets even further down, the reign of Charles IV and that of Ferdinand VII of Spain. This is, this, this is in time of enlightenment in Spain and in time of the national feeling coming up. This is very much a Spanish inspired piece with Spanish guitar, Spanish music at its heart. Don't deviate from that. Put that in your mind. It's almost the same as Memories of the Alhambra by Tarragon. It's got that same lovely Spanish warm idea and feelings. And of course, you can't get away from the setting. The Aranjuez is beautiful. There are gardens, there are flowers, there are birds, and it is it was so beautiful that it actually made into the travel dialogues of the day. Believe it or not, Scarlatti actually had something to say about it. Enchanted palace, birds singing on all sides, waters murmuring sweetly, the espaliers loaded with delectable fruit, and the beds with fragrant flowers. So I would suggest that you think of this as a court musician. You're playing for all the landed gentry and uh, the, the king himself. The, the melody picks up, the orchestra starts, and Dominic Scarlatti is there with you, believe it or not, because Dominic Scarlatti was a court composer at this time. And your French horn picks up the melody, you are then offered it in the next section and you improvise on it in that style, which is why it has so many ornaments to the melody. You want to bring that feeling into this piece when you're playing. You are in the 18th century, early 19th century court and the Bourbon dynasty. There is a ton of inspiration there. If you can find it, this is where most of that is kept. It's not fantastically in depth. He goes in depth in the first movement and not the second and third movements, which is a little bit sad. But Graham Wade has done a fantastic job here. So if you can, grab this book. This is super important. There is a ton of literature. You could literally go online now and Google Palace of the Aranjuez, the Bourbons, early 19th, late 18th century to get even more information about that. But this is what you're aiming for. Very, very specific. And it has all come from Rodrigo himself. All right, so that story of the baby dying, which it did do when he was writing, but it has nothing to do with the ending of this movement even contrary to what you've probably been told that that's the baby floating up to heaven. Yeah, nah. So that's what you're aiming for. A lovely, courtly, elegant summer's night in the Palace of the Aranjuez playing for His Majesty and the, uh, the court. Hopefully that helps get you into the mood for the second movement of Concierto de Aranjuez by Joaquin Rodrigo. Hopefully this helps you get this piece under your fingers and inspired to play it, because you can play it. Let's dive into the first video that pops up in this series.